Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf back at it with another YouTube video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit that bell notification. You get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Also, too, check out the Amazon store, Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Also, too, check out the I am Beowulf merch at BeowulfNation.com. Also, cool thing, I have a promo code uh, in the video description. We get free $25 on Crypto.com. All you have to do is sign up and click the link in the description and you get free $25 in cryptocurrency. Best investment you could be doing for your future. Let's get talking about this video. This is this is unbelievable. So, short summary, how I thought about this is I was just scrolling through TikTok today and saw this and it took me 30 minutes with knowing exactly what the title of this uh, article was, 30 minutes to find an article talking about it. That's how they were trying to keep this pretty hush hush. When I had all the keywords of what it should be searching, it took me 30 minutes and I did find it. But there was videos on YouTube of all this going on, uh, but to have an article to talk about it was ext extremely hard to find. Uh, so let's get talking about this because this is, this is pretty pretty epic and uh, very interesting. Um, it says here, two U.S. Seawolf fast attack subs show up in San Diego to receive top secret cargoes and depart port without crew disembarking which is uh pretty wild if you're not aware how uh submarines work you know they go out for a certain period of time and then they come in and they let people come off so when they're letting the subs coming into port and nobody's getting out and they're going right back out and they're putting something in there uh it's pretty uh, pretty crazy it says an astonishing thing took place recently involving two united states fast attack submarines and what happened is an ominous sign that the real trouble in the Pacific is closer than any of us have been told. On October 20th, the U.S. Jimmy Carter, a single most advanced nuclear propelled submarine in the U.S. Navy, popped up near San Diego and headed into port. Once it was in place at the dock, by two tugboats, the crew did not disembark. Instead, the tarps were placed along the entire dock to prevent anyone seeing what was taking place. Material handling equipment like fork trucks went out of the dock and straight job trucks with concealed cargo headed out also. Whatever the trucks were carrying was apparently loaded into the submarine. The trucks and material handling equipment then departed off the dock. The tarps were taken down and the submarine was pulled away from the dock by the same two tugboats and, and sent immediately back to sea. Then, another three days ago on October 25th, another submarine from the same class, the U.S. Seawolf lead boat in its class, Popped up outside San Diego, just like the USS Jimmy Carter five days earlier, was brought to dock by two tugboats, and the entire operation that was done with the USS Jimmy Carter was done with the Seawolf once. Whatever was loaded into the sub, the sub was towed away from dock and it put immediately back to sea. The crew never got off. This is pretty wild. Uh, it's literally, they're getting what they need and they're going right back out. It's, uh, so you don't even know where these were originating coming from, but I mean, they were off and then it's, there's still a lot more to talk about. This is... When I saw this, I was like, I had to find this article, and I need to make a video talking about it, because I love, these are the kind of articles I like to find. It's stuff that is just not talked about, kind of brushed under the rug, ex extremely hard to find on the internet to talk about it. This, th this is the articles I love finding. This is what, it, it's cryptocurrency and articles that are like, 
trying to be hidden. That, that's what makes me like doing videos like this. It makes me real excited. It just, it's just neat. It says here, then the way to tell the difference between the Seawolf and the Jimmy Carter is by the length of the, of the vessel. It is worth noting that both these submarines are normally based in Washington State. But travel from San Diego to Washington would add almost a full day to travel time. And apparently whatever needed to be put on those submarines needed to happen fast. Fast enough that the travel time to Washington made a difference and San Diego was used instead. The whole thing was very unusual. I inquire of my former colleagues in the intelligence community about what the hell was going on. This was staggeringly unusual in, ev in every regard, almost as unusual as those same two submarines being surged from the port of Washington State a little over a month ago and put to sea with almost no warning my former colleagues told me that things are taking place in the western pacific ocean red china that are they are far more serious than anything the public is being told in fact they said things are so serious that america public is quite likely to be blindsided by what's coming ah, this is it's scary and uh it's this is the facts this is uh, there's who knows what can happen and uh the last thing we need is any type of war i can tell you that uh, we don't most people don't realize how much stuff is so crucial being shipped from other countries in the pacific that if that we're told that we could not get stuff from there anymore that they said we're not shipping you stuff uh stuff would turn extremely bad in the United States so fast that people wouldn't even know what to do and it doesn't matter what you stockpile on it'd be a long haul and it's already getting bad it could get a lot worse super fast so let's keep talking about this oh man they also told me that with what was loaded onto the submarines none of them would want to be a sailor on an advisory warship anywhere so whatever it is it's a really big deal perhaps even a game changer it is my personal policy not to reveal the movement of u.s assets because i do not want to have my actions in any way in danger of military in this partic particular instance in the city of San Diego has webcams that show the beaches and lit inlets to the general public. Those cameras caught the two submarines coming in and going out of San Diego. So the information was kind of already out. I waited several days before reporting any of this so as it to give the subs time to disappear. Stay frosty folks. They appear to be serious storm clouds on the global horizon. This is just kind of gives me like a uh, hair standing in the back of my neck. It's just, it's foreseen. I mean, it shows how they want to keep this so quiet. I mean, it, this took a lot of searching to find this. And it was like keywords like two subs, San Diego you know cargo i mean i tried a bunch of stuff and nothing was showing up and then boom if i didn't see the article on tiktok where tiktok usually what people do and i've done this myself is you you screen sh video shot an article scroll up and down put some music in it and then maybe like show your face i've done the same thing and y you know it's not to get a lot of traffic uh, but it's just for people to know a lot of my stuff i find is from that like i just get whatever gets shown to me uh however the analytics work on there i see a lot of crazy stuff and um 
uh, this was one of them, and this one was extremely hard to find. Even when I was trying to find where this originated from, it was ex I couldn't believe how hard this was to find, and then I did find it. And uh, I think there is videos on YouTube showing us I'm not going to steal anybody's stuff. Plus, uh, it's, man, it's just like, who knows what they could be putting on there. I don't even want to speculate, but whatever it is, it's super top secret, and I... We, you know, I'm not to be the one to be thinking my opinion of this, and it has to be, you know, covered for, you know, uh, man, I just can't even imagine what was put on there, and then days apart, and they're going right back to sea, and also, too, there was um, another one of these uh, sea wolves attack subs uh, that collided with an object in the Pacific that, first there was rumors it was a Chinese sub, uh, then they call it, said it was uh, uh, unidentified uh, object underwater. I forgot what they call it. It's the same as like what they classified an anomalies they see in the, s the sky. You would call UFOs. Uh, there's another term that what they call uh, an underwater UFO. Yeah, this happened on October, early October, October second collision and. Uh, it was an unidentified object. I forgot what they call those. It's a, a USO. But nobody would be talking about what. And it hadn't been said. There were. Yeah, it says. A, let me read this real quick so that we can tie this. It's not a long article, but I'll tie this in. So it says U U.S. Navy submarine collides with the underwater object in the South China Sea. Uh, it says here a U.S. nuclear powered submarine struck an unidentified object in international water in the South China Sea last week. The Navy said Thursday an incident that injured nearly a dozen sailors. In brief statement emailed by the NPR, the U.S. 7th Fleet said the U.S. Con uh, Connecticut, a Seawolf class fast attack submarine commissioned more than two decades ago, was in a, in a safe and stable condition after a October 2nd collision. A Defense Department told NPR that about 11 sailors sustained moderate and minor injuries in the incident. The Navy statement said both nuclear propulsion plant were not affected by the collision the intact damage to the remainder of the submarine is being assessed, the Seventh Fleet said. The statement did not say what where the underwater collisions took place, only that it was in international waters Officially quoted by the Associated Press said that there was wasn't clear what Connecticut had struck, but that it was not another submarine. This, these, it gets, this gets very interesting. The Seventh Fleet statement said the Navy had not requested assistance while the DOD official quoted by the U.S. and I News said the submarine had steamed to Guam on the surface and the U.S. official confirmed to NPR that the Connecticut had arrived in port. The last time the U.S. submarine is known to have struck an underwater object was in 2005 when the U.S. San Francisco hit a sea mount or underwater mountain near Guam traveling at full speed. The sailors aboard were thrown as far as 20 feet by the impact and the majority of the 137 aboard were injured in the incident with one killed. The submarine investigation determined that the sub charts of the seafloor did not show the sea mount. This doesn't give a lot of answers here. This is like, oh man, this is, it is, uh, I'm looking at this, and there is like uh, there is a lot more uh, 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 articles with this, and uh, this is this is pretty pretty wild. Uh, so I like to hear people's comments. I mean, these these are the articles that get me like, whoa! <laughs> I saw this. I'm like, I'm making a YouTube video about this today. It is not going to be in the back burner and stuff. It needs to be put out for people to see. And, uh, yeah, both of these are too crazy. The one's not much to say. It's just, they're, 
I heard mixed rumors when that all happened. And then they turned it around saying it was another sub that hit his, another sub. And then they were like saying it was some, uh, I think they're called USOs. Yeah, USOs. I was right. I was like, I know what I'm talking about. It's got a double jack. They're called USOs. I knew it. I knew what I was doing. Was, I was like, I want to make sure I'm saying the right thing. So definitely comment on the bottom what you guys think about this. Because this is... Uh, it's it's very wild what could be put in there. We could all sit there all day and speculate. But whatever it was, it was super top secret. And uh, hopefully both people, everybody on board, both of those submarines are safe out there. Everybody who's serving all around the world... Uh, are safe, especially in the Pacific, because there is definitely some, the tension in the Pacific is super high. I was, I've talked, I, the past videos, I was going to talk about kind of what's going on there, and it's, it's, it, it's pretty wild, so, um, the Pacific Ocean right now is, this is a lot of tension, so, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, existing subscribers hit the bell notification, you get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Check out the I Am Beowulf merch at BeowulfNation.com. Check out the Amazon store, Amazon.com slash shop slash I Am Beowulf. Then there's the free $25 at Crypto.com. Link in the description to sign up with that and start investing in the cryptocurrency. Remember every day is Earth Day. Stay mighty and keep strong.